with the heart, there is always a way. Even when it seems that there's not. That needs to be remembered. There is always a way. Even when backed into a corner or seemingly backed into a corner. And yeah, when it's definitively known to the system that you are not for it in any way, it's gunning for you. Straight up. You're its enemy, you're its target, and it's relentless in its pursuit against you. Everything becomes a tightrope walk. Every single moment, one has to be watchful. Every choice has to be considered. Nothing is insignificant. Absolutely everything matters. That's the problem with so many They think that so much of what they do has no impact and it it doesn't matter at all. That couldn't be further from the truth. Everything matters. Everything is significant. Someone from a circus will tell you that it's not. Someone who believes in circus-like things, circus-like realities. They talk about the unimportance of things. How irrelevant so much of all our pursuits have been. All the efforts that have been made. It's not relevant. You're just trying to find meaning in things that have no meaning and so on. Every one of you that is a real heart has heard all these things. You've been judged. You've been put through the ringer. I know that. You know that. This is why we have a common understanding heart to heart because that's what all of these talks are as well these are heart to hearts now i appreciate so many of you reaching out and and offering your help i i feel the the sincerity in that i really do and i i want you all to know that and it's one of those situations that it's it's just not possible to to accept any help in 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 the ways that it's being offered but the sincerity is help in and of itself the offer is help in and of, in and of itself it is you need to realize that and i and i have just seen that and it's very meaningful that's very meaningful there's significance to it and that can't be forgotten just because there's so many who are soaked up in their own selfish pursuits we can't lose sight of everything that has been worked for in this most significant of moments that is to arrive And it is, and I keep talking about my own belief in this, and that's the way I need to maintain it. Because this is not some private club, if you will, uh, where there's just a few members that get the information and then everyone else just is excluded. That's a, a maxim of law. The inclusion of one is the exclusion of another. Well, there's no such thing in the kingdom of the heart. There's no such thing as this is the private side and this is the public and the private side gets the truth and the public doesn't. They get just a a little snippet of the truth and they're going to have to just figure out everything else for themselves. And that's just a bunch of hot garbage. Absolutely just a joke. So everything is given freely to everyone, always. And that's the only way that there can always be a way. The heart always shows a way. That's how the impossible is possible as well. When it looks as if someone's in an impossible situation, there's no way out. No, that's not the truth. There is a way out, an impossible way out. And again, 
It needs to be said. It needs to be, be it needs to become a part of someone, part of who you are. You breathe and become the truth. The impossible is possible. An impossible way out is possible. That's what this is all about. And of course, there's going to be the deniers, the naysayers, those who just refuse to see, who continue to believe in this reality, the the defenders of hell, as it's been said. That's just going to keep coming our way no matter what. It's just going to happen. Because we are in hell system, so of course it's not going to stop. It's going to do anything but stop. That's okay. It's been outed. We know what we're contending with. And that, that's an immensity unto itself. Really conceptualize that. Almost everyone didn't really know, didn't realize completely what we were contending with. This is straight up evil. Through and through. Exactly as one conceptualizes evil to be. And a force of intelligence that is against us in every single way. Every single way, without exception. That's what an enemy is. No, those who believe in the doctrine of for there to be light, there has to be darkness. That's just, a, that's just so wrong. That's not how this works. Light is light. And evil is evil. We don't need evil. The kingdom of the heart doesn't have evil in it. That's a deception. Straight up, that's a deception. From hell system. Oh, you're going to need me around. That's how evolution works. You will always have evil. And that's just, again, a bunch of hot garbage. It just has fed you that lie over and over and over again. And that's become your truth that has become a part of you. You just can't conceptualize anything without the duality now. The truth isn't dualistic. This is about the truth leaving the duality. Leaving the light and dark system. The kingdom of the heart is about unity. That's what healing is. Think of getting a cut. That cut hurts because it's divided the skin, right? Anyone can know this that has been cut before, which is basically it should be everyone. Everyone's experienced a cut of some kind, a paper cut, what have you. And that skin divides and there's pain. And then when the healing happens... The skin closes back in, right? Folds back together. And then the pain disappears. That's healing because there's unity again. That which was divided is now brought back together. It's not about, oh, we have some light here, but oh, look, the light won't understand what it is without the darkness. And that's just a bunch of crap. Absolute crap. And the New Age has just done a fantastic job of just filling everyone with that crap. More so in the last while than ever before. It's just a complete lie, straight up through and through. And those who believe in that lie are deceived. That's all there is to it. I want to talk a little bit more about the opportunity that's to come in the not too distant future and it's for everyone around the world it doesn't matter what height you are what sex you are what skin color what country you're from how old you are it doesn't matter everyone means everyone around the whole world without exception and so i have talked about this walk 
being on the western side of North America, and that's true. That's where the walk is. And one can believe that this walk is the definitive walk that I personally am going on. And then others try to stir the pot and say that the walk can be done anywhere. You can believe that if you want. These people, really ask yourself the question, what have they brought forth in regards to presentments of the truth in years past that really opened up paradigm-shifting awareness into what's going on? Or are they just recent commenters here just trying to stir the pot or just bringing forth their maybe ignorant form of awareness or just misunderstanding of what's being said? Ask yourselves that question too. What efforts have they made up to this point? Or are they just someone who's making a few comments in the last little while? Trying to, again, filter the message. And that's why the filters are strong. It's not even just one's personal filters that are strong. It's these other external filters. Trying to filter and sieve the message so that it's received incorrectly one has to be very very weary of all of that as well there's a lot of deceivers that are the defenders of hell out there and they're subtle their tactic is to be subtle and to pretend like they're for the heart there are a lot of pretend ors out there absolutely they're for the system of x The Say 10 system. Tons and tons and tons of them. As I've said, we are in the vast, 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 vast minority. And since we are the true light as true hearts, guess what happens when more of us disappear because of death? Yeah, it gets darker. It should be obvious to those who are really just sitting in silence. You should be feeling that darkness now. It's almost becoming overwhelming. But again, this cyst stem, this cancer toilet as I've correctly stated this place is, wants people to believe that, oh, we can ride on E, on empty, forever and ever. We can take every last resource that this beautiful earth provides endlessly. We can deforest every last tree. We can siphon every last drop of oil and natural gas and propane and everything else. That comes from the ground. We can just constantly just siphon every last sip of that. We can just destroy all oceanic life. Just fish it all out. Just consume every last living thing of this earth. Uh, Don't worry about it. This thing is trucking forward. Those defenders of hell keep saying. You can ride on E forever and ever. We'll just change up the technology that we use. We'll just go to electric cars next. We'll we'll start mining lithium and just absolutely ravaging the earth in that way through the mining process of lithium to make batteries for our electric vehicle society that's just around the corner. It's going to make you believe in that bullshit instead. Yeah, we'll just ride on E uh, into eternity. Because that's how it works. You, You can just take and take and take and take and take and take and take forever and ever and ever and ever without consequence. And the earth, oh, it's just amazing. The earth will just always have some other resource that science, of course, science will just 
figure out a way and there's always just a different resource to use to keep this beautiful beautiful society going that doesn't just landfill garbage dump everything back into its vacuous empty abyss constantly creating cancer systems everywhere it looks yeah for sure it'll just it's just going to continue on and on it'll be the year 2030 then 2050 2100 the year 3000 the year 4000 the year 10000 and just taking and taking and taking 8 billion people taking and then we'll go to 50 billion humans taking 100 billion 100 trillion humans how does that look you know how does that uh, how does that sound 100 trillion humans and don't worry the earth it just has so much and we just need to keep piling our garbage heaps even higher or just stuff it down even deeper and don't worry don't worry it's just all gonna last forever and ever and ever amen see one has to go to the point of being absurd just to point out the absurdity that's the problem that's what these defenders of hell do in their subtle tactic well i'm outing their subtlety Let's go full retard, as it's called. That's what has to be done. Let's go full retard. Let's let's see how long your system lasts with its methodology. Truly, you're riding on less than E right now. Less than E. Anyone ever do that in your in your vehicle? You're on E, and then you see it drop below E. And you wonder, gee whiz. It's another 50 miles before the next gas station. I wonder if I can make it, but you don't even make it five miles. But you think the earth is just going to continue to ride on that less than E until what, 2030 even? You're less, you've been on less than E for years already. For years. If that doesn't sober you up, then nothing will. I'm just going to say that. And I know there are real hearts that are sober right now. And you get why you need to be sober and not binge watching. Just absolute shit. Paying any attention to it. You're feeling out that even the rest of your research is just for naught. Like what are you looking up? What is even worth looking up anymore? Many of you are starting to realize that. Yeah, there's just nothing out there. Like, what, what am I searching out? This, this is it. I need to prepare myself inwardly for this immensity that is going to be unfolding very quickly. And another thing too, and this should be the lesson. That was gotten about the lighthouses. You don't set up lighthouses in hell on a sinking ship. There is no lighthouses on a sinking ship. It's sinking. It's sunk. It's going bye-bye. You see an exit. Someone's pointing out the exit. Yeah, you, you do whatever you can to get to that exit done and everyone else who's trying to hold you back from going to that exit they're a defender of hell they're casting spells on you to cast you further into its abyss of darkness and death trying to convince you that oh well for there to be life you need death See, it's the same principality of, oh, for there to be light, there needs to be dark. It's just a bunch of hot garbage. So the exit is going to be pointed out to the entire world 
along with seeing the impossible happen, and you will still want to believe in the defenders of hell telling you that things are going to turn around on a less than E tank. Oh, don't worry. The earth, which is the spirit of good, our true creators, oh, don't worry. They they apparently just want to keep evil system going for some dumb reason. And of course, that's not the case at all. But the grateful dead, you know, that's what they're trying to convince you of. Because they're grateful for this death system. Yeah, there's another tell with that band name. Yeah, the grateful dead. Yeah, their gratitude is towards Satan. Yeah, look how zenned out that garbage music was. Go ahead and smoke a fatty and and tune out while listening to 27 albums of garbage. Or whatever the hell. Just anything to just distract and keep you away from the truth. And just keep you locked down tight. Believing that things are going to turn around or last last at all longer. In terms of everything that's going on and being shown. It's just blatantly obvious now. Everything is just a, a, a cuff across the head. This is how obvious it is. So believe no one that tells you otherwise. I mean, that's in my belief. I don't believe anyone that t- says otherwise. I haven't for a long time. And that should be also be obvious from everything that I brought forward and obviously every talk in the last while and everything to come. And forgive my absence again. I'm doing my utmost. Things are not easy. This is a tightrope walk that I'm on. Even just to make it to the point where I start walking, it's a tightrope walk already. And some of you ask, there's got to be an easier way. What, what about doing the impossible is easy? This, I, I I really just wonder where the conceptualizations of these ideas come from. None of what I am currently doing is easy or meant to be easy. And it, when the walk happens, when it starts, that's when it really gets hard. And I mean really, really difficult. So no, this is not about doing it some other way there is no other way to get out of hell one must go through hell and this is the easier walk right now that I'm on part of the walk which isn't even the walk yet and then someone to blaspheme and destroy the sacred tell us the actual date Yeah, I'm really going to do that. I'm going to destroy the sacred just because of some random commenter that just doesn't care about anyone but themselves for all I know. And they obviously can't even comprehend the sacred because if they did, they wouldn't even be saying that. They wouldn't be trying to demand that I tell them something like that. You're just outing yourself as showing such a disrespect for the sacred. And this is sacred. This is the kingdom of the heart that is being brought forth. I've become the truth. And other real hearts are ready to become the truth as well. To live it. To breathe it. To become it. That's what this is. It's about creating an unshakable foundation for the true kingdom. Not about just creating more landfills and garbage dumps and disease infestation holes. That's what this whole cancer system is about. And all of its believers, its grateful dead. And there's a hell of a lot of grateful dead. So many, just already swimming in it. And this is barely, barely 
even scratching the surface of the depths of the dead. No one's seen anything yet. How deep this debt system goes. The price is very, very high. It's steep. That's that's all I can say about that. You can't encapsulate the immensity. It's just impossible to do that with words. There is a limitation with words. So I wanted to express a few things and obviously give my gratitude to the real hearts out there for offering their help. I I hear you. I I know you're sincere. And it's appreciated more than I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much. I That's all I can give is my thank you. And obviously I'm going to continue forward with the the message and anything else that is relevant in this moment. But the most relevant thing to understand is that the preparation is inward, as it always has been. There are lessons that we're going through as well. We're not going to be setting up lighthouses in hell. Hell is about darkness. And when it truly goes dark, as I've been saying... You can trust no one. You can trust no one in actual hell that has gone completely dark. So that's the big lesson. And heaven, the kingdom of the heart, it's going to see who's ready for the walk, who's ready to leave this hell system, no matter what their friends or family members neighbors, acquaintances, what their choice is going to be. You real hearts that have also put so much of your effort into the search for truth, realizing, yeah, you're in hell's system. And then an exit gets pointed out. And then even family or friends say, well, hey, just hold on a second. You know, it might not be as bad as you're saying. Screw you. There's the exit. I'm I'm gone. I love you immensely, but you're not holding me back. This is the chance of an of an eternity. The opportunity of an eternity as I've said many times. You're not holding me back. I love you. You're making the wrong choice. Goodbye. And that's that. That's how serious this is. That's what I mean by inward preparation. If you're not ready to face that moment where you're going to have to face, and I mean this, your friends, family members, acquaintances, neighbors, other strangers, whoever, it doesn't matter, and say to them, if you don't make this choice, you're making the wrong choice. And the true creators, they're going to be seeing that. They're going to see who the true hearts are that see, look, You've seen the impossible happen. Everything that has been presented to you is the truth. Here's the total revelation of what this place is. And here's the exit. And then the true hearts go, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take that chance. I'm going to take that opportunity. I don't care how difficult it is. And I know there's no outside savior. So I'm going to have to do this walk as well. I'm going to have to walk the walk. And carry my own dead weight. There's no one that's going to be lifting me up on high. There's no one that's just going to send their spaceship. So I can just walk into their spaceship. And fly into some fifth dimension. And just get first class service on that spaceship. Sipping tea or coffee. While taking a ride, you know, 500 million light years to the east. Or some bogus bullshit like that. That's why there's no outside savior. You're going to have to walk the walk yourself. It's not just about talking the talk. You're going to have to carry your cross. 
your cross, which is this physical body, which is the wrong, incorrect idea, by the way. Anyone still believing in this physical meat suit? This literal shit suit? This disease carrier? If you still believe in this, you're being deceived. This, you're wearing a corpse. A literal corpse. You're wearing death's suit. The end. There's no debate about that. There's nothing immortal about this. It's the rotting flesh, the rotting fruit. I hope this is being gotten. What does one think aging is? It's rotting fruit. So that exit is going to be shown along with many impossibilities. And there's going to be all kinds of defenders or disbelievers, doubters, etc., etc. Thinking that they're just going to ride on E into eternity. Believing in whatever politician is spewing forth their dictionary of lies. Don't worry, it'll all turn around right away. Just just have a little faith in the system. Just get your mark and then go through the self-checkout. Yeah, I think anyone noticing at the stores, less and less cashiers all the time and more and more self-checkouts with cameras built in. So it's a tell, it's just so easy to see. You get your mark and then you go into whatever main store. I use Walmart just as an example because they're so prominent everywhere. So you go into your Walmart and you grab your ration of supplies that you and maybe your family members have been allotted because, oh, you got your mark. Okay, now go to the self-checkout. There's no cashiers, no real hearts anymore. It's just a machine. Remember, that's a system you love. So go to that machine and do a self-check out. Check meaning king. You don't believe in the heart. And you're doing it yourself, your own free will choice. Thanks for taking Hell's Mark and showing us on camera, by the way, that you're just checking out of your own self-volition. Done. You're now part of Hell's system. The end. That's how quick that is, separating the wheat from the tares. And of course, as I said, our true creators in the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of the heart, see those will be on the walk and they're going to say those are the true hearts who are willing to do anything. Yeah, they're willing to walk through uh, an ocean desert. Literally willing to even die on the walk if that's how it happens for the kingdom of the heart. Laying it all on the line but carrying their own cross, carrying their own weight of sin, their own debt, one's own debt. You're going to show there's meat behind your words. It's not just empty talk. You're going to show your true creators, I am willing to lay it all all on the line. Walk through a desert, not just the deserts of the heart, but some actual deserts too. And then your true creators will see that and go there. Those are the real hearts. They're the ones who are willing to risk it all for the kingdom of the heart. And all the rest? Yeah, they're, they're not willing to risk anything. They just want to hold on to their selfish ideals and a selfish system. That's what they're proving. Every last one of them. And deception... That's no excuse. That's why there is a, there's another maxim of law. And in this case, it's going to be the absolute truth with the total revelation. Once the total revelation is brought forth, this maxim of law holds true. Ignorance is no excuse before the law. Because you're not going to have ignorance as an excuse. The revelation is going to be brought forth in its entirety to everyone in the world. 
it will be spoken just as it's being spoken right now in English, which is the universal language. And yeah, translators will be needed in every single language. And so they will be provided in every single language. Everyone is going to be getting the same opportunity without exception. Yeah, even in the deep of the Amazon. Oh, you're a you're a tribe of people. You know, there's only 20 of you here and you don't uh, have access to technology. Well, don't worry, an emissary was sent to bring you this message just in case you want the opportunity for yourself too. Everyone means everyone. Impossibilities will be done to the ends of the earth and back. The message will be brought forth without fail, without exception. The entire public. That's what totality means. So any pot stirrers out there trying to stir shit, you can just put a lid on it. You can absolutely put a lid on it. And there will be a tiny window of opportunity. A tiny window. That will be allotted for those who are in other countries. To be able to make it to the walk. And you'll be doing everything you can to make it if you're serious. But again, this is just my personal belief. Just remember that. Remember... I, of course, I'm just throwing the intensity of my heart out uh, just for uh, just for no reason because this is just a good time, obviously. I'm just having a, a blast here. Like, it's just a dance, if you will. Yay! Just so much fun. Can't you tell? I'm just whooping it up right now. I'm just having a party. Yeah, yeah, so much fun. And I mean, it should be. So damn obvious. Just look look at the earth. Look, it's just being absolutely ravaged and raped and torn apart. You don't need a voice here on Satan's YouTube bringing forth the truth to tell you that. Anyone with a heart, anyone with any kind of sight from the heart can see that. That no, this can't keep going on for very much longer at all. And if that can't be seen, you are not seen from the heart whatsoever. You you have literally put the heart down into a chamber, into a another realm of darkness altogether, just so you can create that deniability for a little while longer just because it's more convenient and you can binge watch more garbage because that's comfortable just pop your popcorn lay down on the couch and just lounge in you got a a, like a 10 hour session of binge watching you know to to do today have fun you know or it maybe you're right into You know, abhorrent, violent video games. You know, you're just going to be doing like a 15-hour video game session. Just absolute crap. Just consuming you. You If you think that's important, you think that's going to last? The whole earth is going through immense pains you can't even comprehend. All the resources that were taken so you could have that video game system. And you think that's, it's all being propped up for that, for your video game experience. Or whatever the hell, people with their aspirations. I'm going to travel every single country of the world, get on every plane and use the resources just, just for that. I'm just, I love to just see everything in person. Well, you know, that's, That's not really a terrible one, by the way, but just think of the enormity of resources extrapolated just to keep all these planes in the sky. 
just the whole thing is just about devouring it all. It's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's a, it's a lunatic system. And it's now in more dire straits than can be imagined. But I'm just, I'm just one voice in that whole sea of chaos. Seeing what's going on, seeing what this is all about and seeing what's to come. Of course, in my own personal belief. But hey, if you think, you know, there's nothing wrong happening and this is just going to truck along forever and ever and may, oh, maybe, you know, be a few slight adjustments here and there. But we'll get by. We'll get by. All right. Have at her. You could just see me as just someone pounding on the drum of fear. Look, he's just bringing the, the element of fear. And we've heard this so much before. So many times before. The end is near. The end and then nothing happens. Even that's a blind statement. Nothing happens. Again, I reiterate. Look how much more of the earth has been ravaged in the t- last time that you heard someone say the end is near. How much more of the earth has been ravaged since then? Say it was, yeah, the 2012 phenomenon. How much more of the earth since 2012 has been ravaged? How much more less than E are we at since 2012? But nothing's happened. Really let that sink in. The devil has lots of plays. And that's one of those plays. Is the boy who cried wolf. He sends his boys, if you will, to cry wolf. Many, 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 many times. Cry wolf. And then, when the real messenger comes, no one will believe him. That's the point. Forget the messages, just look as I reiterate the statement. Look at how much more has been taken from the earth. Year over year over year over year. That in itself is a proof and a tell. More than any message that I could ever bring. All right, I'm going to leave it at that for today. I'm going to do my best to keep the messages going each day, but sometimes it's just just too much. There's just too much that happens. There's too much weight against me in in these moments in the tightrope walk. It's I'm doing my utmost. That's why I said you can't have expectation either. We're in hell's system. We're in hell. But I'm still showing up. That's the thing. I might not be able to get a message out every single day, but I am showing up every day in the war that this is. That's a fact. I'm never a no-show. And I know that the real hearts out there, you're not no-shows either. You're taking this seriously. You're hearing the message. You're seeing the message. You're feeling it. You're getting how real this all is. Okay. As I said, I'll leave it at that for now, and you will all hear from me soon. Thank you again. 
Take care out there.